welcome to the coolest tutorial of python this is bitfumes and i'm your host sarthak in this episode we are going to create a diamond so at the end of this episode you will be able to create this diamond with use of loop and in this episode we are just going to use for loop because it's easy to create and let's see how we can implement this from scratch we are not going to use any previous episode code so let's start with the for loop so how we can approach this we know how we can create the upper triangle so upper pyramid we can create easily so first thing i will say i in a range of 0 till n and now n we have to define which is 10 here and this time if i print i we get 0 till 9 that means 10 rows that's good then instead of this if i say star 10 star is there and we know firstly we need to create the spaces so for j in range of 0 to n and let's print a space and with the end of nothing and let's see how it's going to look so after this let's let's try to run it and yes we have spaces every time which is equal but now we need to decrement our n so that the spaces will also decreases because spaces are depending upon the value of n so which is there yeah that's good if i give another space here that will look cool you can see it's taking the shape now it's time for the stars so another for loop k in range of 0 till now we will now we will use i so if i use i and try to print this yeah we get but we need to give a print for new row and let's now run hmm again we have some problem and the problem is we have to end this one also with nothing so run it yeah we have this let's give a space at the end of every star this is half we have created now another half for the right side actually we just want to make this as an odd number so it's now printing one two three stars we want one then three then five this kind of approach we need to take so i into two minus one will create odd number series so yes it will now complete this so upper triangle is done we just want to create or flip vertically it to downward so this means we will now create another for loop for the downside of this pyramid or diamond so again for i in range of 0 to m again i will define m m is equal to 10 i'm not going to use n because n we know is now become 0 or maybe 1 so i will use another variable called m so loop through this so print stars so let's see yes after this we get the stars but first thing we need to get the spaces and this time the spaces and the stars are just opposite so in the first loop we have looped through the range of 0 to n for spaces but this time we will use this thing to create the stars so let's copy that and paste it here and instead of spaces i will give a star so it's not n it's m and we know we need to decrement the value of m by 1 so yeah that's good and let's give a new row every time run it and yeah you can see it's giving that let's give a space that space is also there and now we we know we need to give this stars odd number of times so m multiply by 2 minus 1 run it yeah that's good that is taking the shape and now we just need to give the spaces and obviously that spaces come before the stars so for k 
in a range of 0 to let's say i because this time as the number of row is there we want the number of spaces so if first row come we want one space second row two space like that so print of a space and with let's say space run it and you can see the diamond is actually created and this is looking super super nice so let's just recap how we have created this we have created one loop for the upper section and another loop for the lower section the upper section from here and lower section till here okay then we have given spaces first and that space will depend upon the reverse order of the number of times we are looping that means we are looping 10 times so first thing we want 10 spaces then 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and reverse has to be with the star but we want the odd number of stars so that that will fit directly exactly in this pyramid so we have used this function which is i multiply by 2 this makes even minus 1 will make the whole thing as odd so this is created and upper one is done in the lower one we have again used that same function for creating the star but this time we want stars to be printed with m that means the number of times we have to run the loop so every time we run the loop we decrement the value of m so that first time it will create uh, stars according to value of m is equal to 10 the next time m is equal to 9 it will create the stars according to that and similarly here also but the main difference between upper triangle and lower triangle is that here spaces are depend upon the number of rows but here spaces are depending upon the number of iteration which is the iteration value similarly here on the upper triangle the number of stars depend upon the iterated number that means i and here the number of stars are depending upon the total number of rows we want to print and obviously we have to decrement also so this is good and we have created the triangle which is very nice this is a pattern programming and if you have liked this episode please feel free to share these videos with your friends and if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram linkedin and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye